ಹಲೋ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಮೈಸೆಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರದೀಪ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೆ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಸಿ ಹುಬ್ಳಿ ಟುಡೇ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಕೋಯಾಗ್ಲೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಟಿ ಕೋಯಾಗ್ಲೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೋಯಾಗ್ಲೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕೋಯಾಗುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಆ್ಯಂಟಿ ಕೋಗುಲೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಿವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋಗುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ ವೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಟಿ ಕೋಗುಲೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಥ್ರೋಂಬೋಸಿಸ್ which may result in ischemic necrosis of tissues supplied by the artery example myocardial infarction due to thrombosis of coronary artery one more is venous thrombosis which may be caused due to the tissue drain by the vein to become edematous and inflamed some of the examples of coagulants the first example is vitamin k which is also referred as phytominadione the second example is vitamin k3 which is also referred as minadione so vitamin k and vitamin k3 are the major type of the agents which are used as coagulants and here are the structures for these respective compounds coming to the study of anticoagulants with respect to their classification they are classified into two major categories that is first one is in vitro anticoagulants examples include heparin sodium oxalate and sodium citrate second class in vivo anticoagulants examples first one is heparin which is a injectable type and the second one is orally used anticoagulants in vivo in that again two different chemical classes of drugs will come a cumarin derivatives examples include warfarin bis hydroxy cumarin and the second subclass under oral in vivo anticoagulants is indendions example phenindione diphenindione now coming to the first class that is in vitro anticoagulants as already the examples are given like heparin sodium citrate and sodium oxalate here i have shown the structure of two in vitro anticoagulants that is sodium citrate and sodium oxalate coming to the second class that is in vivo anticoagulants under that the first subclass belongs to cumarin derivatives so these structures when you observe you can see there the presence of cumarin as the parent moiety in all these compounds that is the reason these compounds are referred as cumarin derivatives so the examples under this are dicumarol the first one the second one is fenprocumarin third one warfarin fourth one aceno cumarol and the fourth one comaclor 
so the respective structures have been given here so where you can clearly make out the presence of the cumarin as a parent moiety in all these structures with additional substitutions which results in the existence of these compounds as a separate moieties coming to the second class that is indandione derivatives at the left side the general structure represents the indandione moiety where you can see the benzene ring is fused with the five membered cyclic ring system which is having at the first and the third place the ketonic moiety attached and at the second place where we are representing it with the r substitution based on the different substitution the different indandione derivatives exist under that few examples are phenindione anisindione bromindione diphenandione so these are the few drugs based on the substitution at the r you can see these indandione derivatives exist coming to the one of the important compound that is warfarin synthesis this is the scheme for the synthesis of warfarin it is a three step process to synthesize warfarin so starting from the beginning in the first step methyl ester of acetyl salicylic acid when treated with sodium at 205 degree centigrade in presence of methanol it results in the formation of sodium derivative of cumarin which on further treatment with hydrochloric acid undergoes hydrolysis to give rise to 4 hydroxy cumarin the 4 hydroxy cumarin obtained is further subjected for treatment with benza lactone and these two compounds undergo reaction where the protonation results in the formation of the final compound of our interest that is warfarin coming to the frequently asked questions first one what are coagulants give to examples where you need to give examples along with the structure second one what are anticoagulants give to examples third one write a note on in vitro and in vivo anticoagulants that is you need to write here a short essay type of the question where you need to explain the in vitro and in vivo anticoagulants along with their structure fourth question give the synthesis of warfarin where you have to write the scheme completely then you have to theoretically explain the step wise the synthesis in word fifth one give the detailed classification of anticoagulants with examples where whatever we discussed with respect to the sub classes in case of anticoagulants that is in vitro and in vivo you have to explain along with the examples that is with respect to their structure the next question is give the need for coagulants and anticoagulants with examples so with respect to the disease conditions where the coagulants are employed that is in case of the hemophilia which is a very well known disease 
where the blood doesn't stop due to a minor injury compared to the normal individual in case of hemophilic individual if there is an injury and there is a blood loss it the blood keeps on flowing so it doesn't stop at a normal time so it can lead to some serious conditions so like this you have to give the explanation with respect to the medical importance of use of the coagulants similarly anticoagulants where they have employed their importance you need to tell with examples where structures are the must and should things which you need to represent in your answer thank you